Good. Can you say your name for this Hello. book that can't see you? J.D. Porto, play Nate on Revolution. Okay, why don't you tell us about your character and as much as you can tell us. Yeah, as much as I can, huh? Uh, well, Nate uh, is a character that you meet through uh, Charlie while she's on her journey. And, uh, you know, Nate's an expert archer. He's also a pretty bad fighter. But you don't quite know where his allegiance lies, you know, is he bad, is he good, and is it like with the Moy Show or the Pretty Girl? Uh, so, you, you don't know, uh, it's something we definitely need to find out. Do you know whether he's good or bad? Have they told you? I've been told some things, I'm not sure how much of it I can reveal. I think that, um, you know, I, I think that... I think that he's a he's a good guy. Um, you know, everyone's trying to survive. You know, even uh, uh, Giancarlo's character, Captain Neville, he's trying to survive. So even though he's with the militia and he looks like he's bad, I mean, he's still doing something. You know, even Mitchell's in the pilot. You know, he's like trying to find his wife. You know, uh, so everyone has a journey, um, and Nate has his. And you know, it's kind of like uh, Han Solo in Star Wars. You know, it's like he doesn't. He doesn't want to be with the rebels or, or you know, that star. It's like he's he works for the highest bidder. So I kind of see Nate as the same, same one. So do you know what Nate did before this happened? Did they tell you? That's something that I think we're gonna find out as the show goes on. You know, there will definitely be that element uh, that JJ Abrams brings. You know, like with Lost where we learn about the characters uh, from flashbacks. So uh, we'll see what happens, we'll see what they reveal about me. I mean, would you like to know? Is that something that, you know, ahead of scripts or anything like that? Would yeah. you be chatting with the writers and saying, okay, tell me something? Yeah, no, I, it? yeah no, that's it. You know, I'm, I'm always, uh, you know, trying to get something out of them. Uh, and they always tell me the same thing. Oh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> uh, which can be frustrating, but also exciting at the same time. I think it really keeps you on your toes. That's the great thing about film is that, um, you know, you get a project and there's a beginning and there's an end. Um, but with TV and also with J.J. Abrams, you know, there's that element of, uh, of surprise, not just for the audience, but also for the actor. And I think that's what keeps it, that's what makes it true, you know, is that we're all surprised at the same time. Now, did you have to do special training for this? I did archery, yeah. Uh, uh, well, you know, well, I uh, absolutely love it. Pretty good. Uh, yeah. So what's it, so what is, is it, I hear the predictions are pretty rough, especially when you go down in the summertime, now you're shooting on Monday in North Carolina. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what's that, I mean, that has to be <laughs> hot, humid. Yeah, a lot different from the West Coast weather or anything else. Yeah, no, I remember um, on the pilot, uh, you know, they had me like in a real thin, that thin green shirt. And I told Eric, I was like, well, hold on a second. Why are all the soldiers in, like, that cool wool soldier outfit, you know? And he's like, oh, trust me. Trust me. When we get down to Wilmington, you're going to thank me so much. And he's right. He's right. Now I'm just sort of like, hey, guys. How's it out there? You know? Yeah. Did you have your question? Well, I was, I was going okay. to say that. I was going to ask. Oh, I yeah. see. Why, why do you think this is a show that people will relate to or find or want to be watched? Because I think it's a it's a universal theme. You know, I mean, if you if you think about it, look at all the shows out there that deal with post-apocalypse. There's it's the universal theme. What happens? You know, the end of the world. Um, you know, it's vampires or it's uh, zombies through disease. You know, um, and it's something that is so universal that we can all relate to. We all wonder. What if, you know, what happens if? Um, and this is one of those stories where, okay, it's not zombies, it's not vampires, it's the powers out. Um, so, I just think that it's something that that is very real, 
Do you think if you've ever been in a part of town where there's a blackout and you're like, oh man, you know, no TV, you can't, no news, you know, when is it going to turn back on? You know, and then and then you're just surprised all of a sudden, just everything, you know, your microwave goes on, the fridge, fridge goes on. So um, I think it's a universal thing, and I think that's what's going to draw a lot of people to it, besides the people behind it, um, JJ and. Uh, uh, Eric Griffin and John Favreau. So now that you shot the pilot, have you thought about what it takes to survive in the world? Oh yeah, no, I, we've talked to you know, some, a lot of training, uh, uh, survivalists, um, trackers. Um, yeah, what would you? I mean, think about it. When there's all, you know, when riots happen. Um, you can imagine, you, you want to get out of town, you know, you want to head for the hills, you know, or you want to, if your friend's a great camper, or you know that, you know, he's great with a knife, you're like, hey, you're coming with me, <laughs> um, you know, maybe grabbing a fishing pole or something, you know, so it's, yeah, you think about all those things, because it's funny, because as an actor, what am I going to do, act, you know, am I going to stand on the soapbox and, you know, recite some Shakespeare, <laughs> it's probably not for a while, you know, I don't want to survive, and, and, you know, find my family. Does, we, does working through this uh, show make you feel more confident that you could survive? Yeah, last yeah, absolutely. Because you're, I'm constantly thinking about it. You know, when you read the new scripts, you're like, oh, okay, yeah, I see that. So there are things that you don't even think about because we're so surrounded with technology. We always think like, oh, it can't happen, or it can't happen to my family, or it can't happen to me, and then all of a sudden, boom, it happens. I think that's where the shock comes in. So, yeah, I'm always thinking about it. I'm always thinking about it. But, you know, you can't get too far off. You, can't, you know, you got to look somewhere in between. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.